All right, my Fleet Feet uh, fast folks, I hope you guys are getting your runs in somehow, some way, be it on the treadmill or be it at an effort time-based run out in this big, beautiful blizzard that we have going on in St. Louis area. Um, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is the plan for Sunday. I am taping this on Thursday as I'm actually supposed to be in the airplane right now going to Phoenix, but as you guys can imagine, um, we've been delayed. So I'm taping this uh, as uh, what we have planned for Sunday. Of course, we'll my, we might have to make some modifications to that plan um, as this weekend kind of unfolds. However, what we're going to do is kind of go back to our race pace series as you guys have or may have noticed that we've kind of been on this every other week race pace versus progressive but that will change of course kind of uh, a, a pattern here so what we did the first week is we did just pure race pace we looked at what your heart rate was uh, we looked at what zone it was in we looked at whether or not you could successfully complete that race pace two weeks ago we started adding these little surges in to see if we can actually go a little bit faster than race pace and still recover and still stay in the appropriate or close to the appropriate zone instead of letting that heart rate kind of drift away from us, um, keep going up and not being able to recover. So this week, we're up in the ante just a little bit. What you'll see is we're going to go a little bit more each time um, on the faster than race pace to race pace ratio. So this week, what we've got to do is we've got a two mile loop. It's the loop that we have been doing our race pace workouts on down towards the Grand Basin, back behind it, right down in front of the boathouse. Um, then back around. And what I want you guys to do this time is the last half of every two mile loop. I want you guys to take race pace um, and run a little bit faster than that. So race pace minus 10, 20, maybe even 30 seconds for that half mile and then get right back to it. So if you're a 10K participant, you're gonna do this loop once. Right, so one and a half miles is going to be at your 10K race pace. The last half mile is going to be faster than that. So about, again, anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds, you will start your 10-minute cool down. Half marathoners are going to be at half marathon race pace. You'll do the first mile and a half at half marathon race pace. Push that last half mile again, minus 10 to 30 seconds. You'll go right into a second loop. So forcing that recovery at race pace for that next mile and a half, finishing hard, 10 minute cool down, you're done. Marathoners, God love ya. You guys get to do three, two mile loops. So a mile and a half, half mile at faster, right? Mile and a half, half mile faster, repeat at times three with a 10 minute cool down. Again, let's see how high. And I'm starting to look at what your uh you know race pace is hopefully that has remained the same okay so look back at what we did two weeks ago during this race pace effort i want you to try to keep that if you guys have it knocked down in your notes i do right you guys do up here in your head as well and let's see um if those little presses really do just throw that heart rate off um, if it does, we, again, really need to start monitoring it. And I got some plans to help you fix it if, 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 if it all need be. Now, the plan is to do this one and one more and then go back to race pace. And that heart rate really should drop. And you really should feel like that race pace is very doable, very comfortable. Because remember, the whole idea behind speed work is to make you more efficient um, that being said, it feels easier, breezier, less intense on our body. And God, Lord, nah knows that that's what we want to have happen during a 10K half or full marathon. Okay. Barb Delgado will be your site leader. Um, if you have any questions though, I'll be getting an email via my phone. So, um, send me an email and I hope to get back to you. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good weekend.